Nia. There's a big snake. <gasps> Fizz fam, how are you guys doing? Welcome back to Fizzmas, aka Vlogmas, aka Christmas. So I've just got back from the barbers. I was kind of hoping that the mood in the house might have changed a little bit, but it hasn't. Long story short, we spent the first half of the day thinking we weren't gonna be able to vlog because there's some issues going on in the household. But we're gonna put that on pause for a bit and we're gonna guarantee to still bring you out a video every single day. That's what I thought. I'm gonna press record and we're gonna get stuck into it. Georgie's come up with an idea that we're actually gonna do a candy cane hunt and then maybe we might carry on helping Mia later on. But we, we have to take a bit I've of a breather. I've actually um, booked something for me. I've got her surprise to make her feel better as well. Oh, have you? She doesn't know about it. <laughs> it's at 1.30 though later on. Ready for a candy cane hunt? Yeah, I am. Ready for a candy cane hunt? Yeah. Yeah. Co, are you ready for a candy cane hunt? Toolbox. Yeah, you just want to play with your toolbox. Play minty candy. The rules are go and wait in your bedroom there for a couple of minutes while I go and hide all the candy canes. Yeah. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Mia, can I come in? You alright? Do you want to do a candy cane hunt to cheer you up or do you want to stay in here stuff? Yeah, okay, I'll do you do? Yeah. Alright then, there you go. I bet some of them are laid out quite easy for the babies, so okay, you'll probably know I which ones they are. Alright then, let's go and get the babies then. Well done for coming out. Are you ready? Yeah. 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 Ready? Yeah. Mia's going to join oh. in. Yeah. Mia oh. wants to join in as well. Yeah, you have a baggie. Right, so everyone, <laughs> listen to me. Yeah. I hope you've hidden them in hard I've hidden them. Yeah. Some of them are hard, some of them are easy, because of course we've got a little cute Koa and Karma. <laughs> but they're all in the living room and on the ranch show only. Okay? okay. Cool. Come with my candy candy. Find the candy cane. We found one! Can you put it in there? Yay! Go look for some more! Ooh. Oh, that one's slowed down. I'm going to leave it for the babies. Well, I don't think they'll spawn that. No, I don't. No, I don't think they will. Okay. <laughs> oh, uh, look, Kama, there's something on the table. Put it in your bag. All back. Go look in the room. Oh, when you say hi, you <laughs> got it out of the monkey's hand. Monkey didn't want to give look that. Everywhere. Look everywhere. Lollipop. Low. Look everywhere. Low everywhere. Come on, Kara. Yay. Kara's on a roll. She's on a roll, guys. Look, roll. Roll. A monkey must have done it in the meantime. It's I got swear. Like fluff on it. Here you go, Sienna. No, thank you. There's two near something green. Where? The Christmas tree. Oh, I see one. Oh, I see. I see both of them. Come on. Something there. Do you see it? Come on, look. There's something there. Do you see it? Let her get it. Let her get it. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! We're going to show the fish band what you've got. How many have you got? 
what? Who's won the candy cane challenge? Put it all on the floor. So Carrot has got one, two, three, maybe just what? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. How many have you got, Karma? Let's see what you've got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Who's got the most? I think. I think Karma. I've got five or two candy canes. I got eight. Karma's got I got nine. Eight. Karma's got nine, and Karma's got thirteen. Also, Mia, to make you feel better, I've got you a nail appointment book for later on. Aw, thank because you. Because you I went into Mia's bedroom, was it yesterday or yeah. the day before? And I saw her trying to pick off her um, nail varnish because we've got gel on our fingers yeah. and it's really hard to get off. You kind of need to go to the salon. And Mia was like just picking it and I know that they're all a mess now, aren't they? Yeah, I kind of ruined it. I forgot you need the special. It's because I bought her all those nice colours for her birthday and I know you want to wear them. So I've got you a manicure book where they're going to like neaten all your nails up and tidy them up for you. I feel like you need a bit of TLC, don't you, right now? Yeah. Yeah, to make you feel better. Mia. It's okay. Oh, don't be sad. Oh, you're my big girl who's so sad. Oh. <laughs> Don't worry, if you think about it, nothing bad has happened, everyone's okay, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. You can still be friends with people. Like, friendship is way more, like, deeper and, like, meaningful than, like, you know. Yeah. Um, that makes sense. Yeah? yeah. I think it's just because it's the first time for you. Yeah? Is it just yeah. big feelings out? You know how I always say to come, you have some big feelings. You just have some big feelings right now, aren't you? Yeah, big feelings. We're here for you, though, you've got us to speak to you and you've got all of your friends as well. Like we really love you, Mia, and care about you. And we're gonna be here for you, all right? Yeah. Hi. Bye, Mia. Bye. Have a nice time. What have you got there, Karma? They're like coconut um, like crisps. What have you got? got? Kombucha. Oh, well, that looks nice. Yeah. What flavor is that one? Red fruit and jamaica. And jamaica, yeah. Hibiscus, I think it is. I've got one there. Coconut snack. I wonder how Mia's getting on, Karma. I'm excited to see her nails, aren't you? Yeah. yeah. He's probably like crying. Crying? Yeah. Well, I hope not. I hope it's cheered her up. Which I couldn't get off as well, which is nice. Oh. Gave me like a massage. Oh, you do seem a little bit more happier. Yeah. A little bit more, you know, content. I did always cry once in that. Really? But it's fine. Oh. I didn't actually cry. So. Oh, Mia. I would have been a bit embarrassed. Oh. No, but I'm good. I'm good. Remember I'm good. they playing sad music in there? They were playing really sad music. It was really? the most depressing. How did I know? Music. Really? Like the what? most depressing, like sad music. It was like on a really sad film when someone dies. No. So it just wasn't exactly the best vibe in there. But hey, it's good. I'm fine. There's more to tell, okay? There's more tea about what okay. happened in there. Okay, so first of all, Darren. Hello. In there, they are literally playing the most depressing, sad music. So right. that was really great for my mood. I may or may not have almost started crying again. You sound like you've really cheered up. No, I've cheered up now just because it was... I'm like laughing because it was like such an, a weird experience in there. The lady was like nice, but like something just felt a little bit weird. Like she kept like coughing and like she like sniffing, which is kind of gross. Yeah. And then she also kept like muttering to herself. Like she was a nice lady. She was nice to me and everything, but it was just something about her was a little bit off. She put like this like um, sticky stuff with like sugar in it to like scrub, like a hand scrub, yeah, which is just normal. Scrub, but she put like loads on, so it was kind of like my whole hand was like thick covered in it, which is kind of funny. And then while she was rubbing it in, she like looked at me and was like, hmm, like that. <laughs> she was like, hmm, like that. I'm like, what the? What is that? I don't know. She was like, hmm. Yeah. While she was rubbing it in, I was really weirded out and like trying to not laugh my head off. She just sounds like she's got a very interesting character. Like, yes. You know, you meet, I mean, I'm a bit crazy, aren't I? 
Yeah, but this was just a bit weird. Right, I was going to say, what do you want to do now to cheer you up? But you sound like you've cheered up anyway, so. Yeah, do you want to go Saves home? me a few pennies from you, going somewhere else. Do you want to go, um, Mia? Right, I'll let you decide. Do you want to have some dinner at home or would you like to eat out here? Because it's like sushi uh, places and there's like falafel bars. Yeah? yeah, okay. I feel like I kind of just prefer being at home. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yesterday me and Onella were talking about um, going out on the golf cart and then like getting loads of outfit changes and then doing like a little photo shoot. Oh. So maybe we could do that. Yay! Here we go, Kawa. Let's see how powerful the sea is today, shall we, Kawa? Shall we have a look at it? Oh, it's far out today, isn't it? Yeah. Look, she said it's not powerful. See, it's not powerful. Yeah. So can you go in it today, Kama? Yes. Yeah. yeah. You still have to hold her hands, so don't. Okay. You? you love coming to the beach, yeah. don't you, Kama? Just swimming bottoms. <laughs> yes, I didn't know we left them at the beach, did you, Karma? Why? It's the original ruffle butt. Yeah, the ruffle butt knickers. Yeah. Karma, we left them at the beach. I didn't know that. I've decided to come out and try and like do some stuff, you know, hang out with friends. Oh, no. I'm gonna try and cheer me up, take my mind off it, you know. <laughs> it's fun though. I think that's important if you're like feeling low to like force yourself to go out because I was kind of just tempted to stay in my room and not <laughs> do anything. Yeah. I'm sorry but nothing can make you happier than driving around in a pink golf cart. Like it just it's always gonna make you smile right guys? How about here Koa because then we've got a tree to play on as well can you see it? Yeah, yeah you see the big tree? this really pretty location um, we're gonna take some pictures the sun's kind of setting so I think oh, it's gonna be fine. good lighting so we're gonna take some pictures of each other we realized we kind of forgot to bring the tripod which we were supposed to bring also like changes of clothing but it's okay I guess we can just do a proper photo shoot another day yeah, yeah. they are pretty they look nice thank you for my strawberries you can have That's them back now thank you could you finish them yes they were delicious yeah. I'm gonna create you more okay thank you you should say create you more. Yeah, I think so. Oh. Here we comes. See, they're all kind of young and relatively easy to look after. No hormonal mood swings. No difficulties no. talking to potential partners or whatever. Yeah. And then suddenly they become teenagers and now we've got this whole new like chapter what I guess we've got to learn to adapt yeah. to and yeah. you know be able to be because obviously as I said at the beginning of the vlog, we literally spent the first half of the day speaking to Mia. Yeah. Talking and help her. helping her and you know but it's really like I, I can I can basically still remember I'm 38 but I can still remember being a yeah. teenager is really hard there's yeah. just so much like pressures about everything and, and you know you feel like you have to grow up and you feel like there's all these different responsibilities like what job are you gonna have and like you know all social status and hierarchies and like just all but different I think more, stuff isn't there more it is it's about your emotions though get lots of new emotions yeah. and some of them feel super strong. I said to me all of her feelings are valid but then we helped her like kind of rationalise them a little bit didn't we? Yeah. Although at the time like whatever I can remember this from when I was a teenager no matter what people tell you like your parents or your friends you're like it, you don't know you don't know. Exactly. You, so that's, sometimes that's you thing. have to go through that. You're just like what do they know? Yeah and not even necessarily yeah. in like kind of rebellious And then even way. if you tell them no seriously you're going to be over this in like a week that doesn't mean anything to them because they it feels so, like that infatuation feels so full on doesn't yeah. it Yeah but like What did you get Comfy? Um I got mum some strawberries Some strawberries? Yeah and I got oh, Going on for what Dan just said about a new chapter obviously like when they're toddlers they're like hard work they're running off all the time and have tantrums and they don't want to sleep Now we are at that stage with like Nia where she wants to date and like probably you know in the future she's going to want to do more things where we're going to be like she might want to go off traveling on her own and we're going to have all these things where although they're positive things yeah they're like big things because she's like my little baby and she's growing up and i really want to be there for her and protect all her feelings and her protect her from things but she's got experience That's, she's got to yeah. experience some of these uncomfortable feelings to grow stronger yeah. and to learn from them you can't protect someone from like emotional yeah. experiences it's not possible i mean we've all been there we all do this thing where we're like you know when we're younger and we think think everything's so serious and then you look back on it and you say oh actually it wasn't yeah but i haven't ever really seen me like this before yeah 
like she keeps like crying all day and like feels really sad but I can remember feeling like that once so we've just been really kind to her and letting her know that we're there for her and just letting her feel what she wants to feel rather than her denying her feelings as well because you've got to process those feelings to grow like stronger and learn from them and for your body to kind of like yeah to process it yeah it's just really funny to think because obviously you never think this when they're younger like you don't really imagine them like being an adult or what it'll be like with them turning oh, into an adult Lee and you Barry. can't really think of these two like Good now daddy. being adults one day can you you're gonna be a full-grown woman one day come yeah I? and Kama's gonna be a full-grown man yeah <laughs> and i'm gonna be like mom and it's gonna be two mom. men in the house i know oh i'm really happy to have a little man like yeah. watch him grow up and that like he really wants to be you know as well and he le like literally he can't talk properly yet yeah? but he knows all the names of different vehicles yeah he does and yeah. i haven't been teaching Digger, him tractor. i know I've like, I've like casually just mentioned what those names are just as i would if there's like a squirrel or a dog in that yeah. but when he sees a digger he knows what it is yeah he loves it like he loves them so much so i really like the difference I think maybe he gets that from granddad because i wouldn't say i'm like really into vehicles i know but he really wants to i be mean i know what they are but i'm not like yeah. obsessing about it like, when they're like his age, like her's age, all the girls before, they would pick things up and look at them and maybe poke them and things. He picked things up and then throws it. And that yeah. is the difference between <laughs> the girls and Koa. He just wants to right, break they're, things. They're currently climbing. Hold on. So careful you don't go too high. Ah! Look, no, the sun is now setting, Karma. Oh, why? It's going away from the horizon. Can you see it? Wow, the sunset today is especially spectacular. I just missed it, literally. It's very pretty today. And they're playing football ever. Football. Don't take the mick out of my hair, Fizz fam, okay? But we really want to show you something. What we really love is every time we come back from the beach on the golf car, because the sun is starting to set, we get met with this beautiful sight, don't we, Karma? Yeah. The twinkling Christmas tree. Yeah. Always looks so inviting and cosy. Yeah. You love yeah. Christmas time, yeah. don't you? What's your favourite thing about Christmas um, so far? The beach. Going to the beach. Oh, I thought you were going to say the advent calendars or something. Yes, yeah, so look at that. Look how gorgeous that is. Don't you love that about Christmas time, Fizz? I can really remember when I was a kid, I used to love seeing all the Christmas decorations and all the lights twinkling, and it just gave me this really nice, sort of fuzzy feeling inside. What do you want? What I want to go to buy um, tea and banana. Yes, yeah, a little yeah. ritual. Yep. So what we do is when we come back from the beach, if you didn't understand what Karma just said, we have a look, they have a little coconut bite, some chamomile tea, and then also, what did you say? A banana. And then we also give you a little sleep vitamin as well, yep. don't we? And coconut bite. And a coconut bite. I'm going yep. to get them for you, my madam, yes? More drama, guys. <laughs> There's a big snake. As I was driving in. <laughs> like, it's right there. It's coming towards the house. Where is it? Here. There, in the bush, right there. It's really long. I think I can now maybe, I, I don't want to park my golf cart all over the, all the way over there. The wolf, there's more. And I don't even have shoes to walk indoors in. <laughs> Mia? Yeah? You did want to do 24 hours on the golf cart, so. Yeah, no, I don't know how I feel See, about that. Ah, it's coming towards me, what? I do not, it moves so weirdly. What do I do? I don't know what to do. But it keeps moving. <gasps> no, it's coming towards me! Can it just go away, please? It's right there! Oh, it moves so weird. I don't know how to get indoors. I think you should run that way. Like, take your keys out and then run the other way. Oh, but I don't want to turn the light off. Oh, no, keep the... Well. Okay, so thank you. Okay. 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 Right, it's kind of gone under the bush now. It's right. coming towards the house. So should I run yeah. towards the house yeah. or go back that way? Go back that way. No, but what if there's more snakes? No, there's not. And I can't see what's over there. Have you got your glasses on? No, I'd rather run indoors this way. No, because you're going to go past it. It's right there. Do not startle it. It's now going in the rock. Go back that way. Okay, move to Costa Rica, guys. I can see it, right? It's not anywhere near you. Okay, so which way should I go? Yeah. Round there? Run up onto the road and then down the drive. Okay. I'm really scared. What there's another one? What's there's another one? Yeah, quick, come this way. What, what, what? Come this way. Quickly, climb in the window. Climb in the window because 
We, we don't want to open the doors just in case it tries to come in the door. Oh, you can't see it from the sink. Oh, yeah, yeah. There, there. Can you see its head? It's reversing. Wow, it's stripey, it isn't it? so weirdly. Should I go at her? No. no. Can you just stop it? It moves, it moves like a robot. No, it moves so Oh, weird. look, there it goes. It has really it's not cute if you saw that much. If you saw the full length of it, it's like from there to there. Yeah, it's really, it's really long. long. Yeah. It's really long. Thin, but really long. Yeah, we put it on. So tell, tell her, tell her, there's nothing to worry about, mate. I think he likes it. I think he likes it. There's nothing to worry about. It's no, okay. He likes it. He wants it. Oh, he wants to go to it. Yeah, yeah. All oh, right. I think we better go to bed, Karma. And the snake, the snake's now going to go in his bed. Yeah. Nice. Right. I've opened the door for his fam. I'm going a bit closer to it. Look, I'm zooming in. Right. It's, it's now go. Yeah, exactly. You think it's a hose, but it's now going under that bush. But then there's me as golf cart. So.